Cubiest of the tubiest, the best YouTube subscribers on the planet. That's you. I'm the plus. My student, Mr. Craig Wong. What's up? How are you doing, brother? How we doing? How we doing? All right. So, you rode with me uh, yesterday. So, today, um, it's going to be your first day behind the wheel, behind the driver's seat. So before we get your journey started, what uh, what were you doing before you came uh, to Mountain uh, Drive Trucks? What, 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 what was what were you doing? Um, I was a salesman. I've been in sales for around like five years. Yeah. Yeah, like you know, just like meeting different people. You know, you you. Can, you can meet a lot of people, a lot of connections through sales, you know, just, uh, I actually kind of met someone for trucking who kind of helped me uh, change my career yeah. in, in, in for the better, you know? Yeah, yeah. Sales, it's good money, but you know, trucking, it's, it's something different. It is, it is. It, it definitely is something so. different, 100%. Um, so, <clears throat> how old are you, by the way? 21. No, see, right out of the crib. That's perfect. Yeah. You know, I mean, you get started with this very young, and uh, by the time you're ready to to hang it up, man, you you, you could have you have you have a very good career. You know, you should be able to retire solid, especially if you stay here. You know, That's they got plan. a good, they got a good plan for you here. So just you stay here to retire after all them years, man. You, you're gonna be. You're gonna be in high cotton. The guy, that's the guy who was behind us right here. The truck parked next to us at this truck stop. He got unloaded uh, right behind us. Well, of course he got. It was fast for him because we went first. We was the guinea pigs. We're gonna, yeah. we're gonna be first every chance we get. <laughs> so, um, so was was is trucking something that uh, you had considered before meeting this? the sole person talk to you i thought about it so you know uh, i thought about it a lot of different careers it was trucking welding and um being a um a veterinarian damn that's a broad spectrum right there yeah. <laughs> i could see how you can go from from trucking to welding or welding to trucking but a veterinarian is is, is yeah. a far cry from either one of them just like being, just like being around animals. Um, you could have worked, worked, worked out a fertilizer plant, you know. That's being a part, plant. That's, that's a part of it. Not that part of the animal. <laughs> that's a little bit closer. That's, that's a little bit closer to what we're doing now. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, so um, I, I'm I'm going to uh, just kind of let you know what to expect they in your first day behind the wheel okay yes sir um coming here we didn't do a whole lot of discussing about what we're going to do what we train on the first in your first uh week or so um because it was dark you really couldn't see what i wanted to teach you but we're, we're on our way um to houston now um we got 130 miles so the first few miles i'm going to drive again and i'm going to uh demonstrate some stuff and then you'll take over and then we're going to practice what you're gonna what what i demonstrated okay yes, so in the first week in your first drive a uh, few things that we're going to focus on and um one is holding your lane um, uh, in your awareness, situational awareness of, of things around you. Uh, right turn, left turns. Okay. And we're going to do some uh, uh, U-turns, but they're not... Uh, 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 underpass U-turns, not like you turn in the middle of the street. We don't do that. We, we, okay. I'm talking about uh, you turn underneath the uh, under underpass. Okay. Yes, sir. But uh, while we're driving, we're gonna we're gonna 
uh, hold your lane. And what I mean by that is I need you to stay in your lane. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, and it sounds really easy. It sounds really uh, plain. I'm not expecting you to drive, you know, drive a chalk line. You yeah. just can't be doing a whole bunch of this back and forth and in the, in the lane, okay? Yeah. You need to kind of be uh, relatively in your lane. And, and, and no one is going to be able to hold it without, you know, touching the lines i mean that's just a part of it well you don't bounce off of them you, you touch yeah. it every once in a while okay so i'm not looking for perfection i'm just looking to make sure that you can stay that you don't look like a drunkard okay yeah, all right for it. <laughs> uh, when it comes to uh, uh situation awareness i'm not i'm not uh you know this is not trucking school i'm not asking you to uh you know the, that bridge is 14 feet. Uh, that <laughs> sign says this. Uh, that's a, listen, man. That part is over, okay? Yeah, I'm. I'm I, that's not. That's not what drivers do. Yes, sir. All right. Um, you, but what, situation awareness is more or less uh, that you're checking your mirrors and that uh, uh, you know what's on the side of you. That's it. You need to know what's on the side of you. You need to know if there's anything behind you and what's in front of you. Okay? Yes, sir. Uh, what's the situation, uh, you know, quarter mile or so up the road that you're still in that situation a quarter mile away from you, okay? Yes, sir. Because when they, and what I'm saying is I know if you are if you're not because I'm looking way up there and I see brake lights and you're still, you know, 64 mile an hour. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. you don't see them, okay? That's not good situational awareness. If I know what I'm saying, yes, sir. Okay, so that's what I'm looking for. Not, you know, yeah, I'm not. Don't be start. Don't start calling out no street light, street signs and stuff. No, that, that ain't. That ain't no. Yes, okay? sir. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, but just so, just just so that you know. Uh, this part of the training is still a part of this big, huge job interview. That's what this is, okay? Yes, sir. However, when you with me, I'm looking for you to get hired. You follow me? Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking for the win. Because if you fail, I fail. You follow? And I'm not going to fail. Yeah, you, yeah. I'm not going to fail. So my goal is to make sure you get that truck. So the pressure is not on. We do that, okay? Yes, sir. And uh, and we're gonna we're gonna we just we're just gonna ride around. That's all we do. That's that, all we the, do. All, the only thing we do is ride around, pick up your stuff, and then ride around some more, then drop off that stuff, and then wash, rinse, repeat. Everybody act like this is just some big huge thing, and all we do is deliver and pick up junk. That's it. That's oh, it. That's my bed. Got it. Yeah. So all we need to do. Is uh is get it there on time and undamaged. Yes, and sir. then you just made a successful journey. Then we do it again. Yes, sir. Okay. So any questions so far? Uh not yet. I know I'm gonna have a lot later. Not yet. Uh, like I said, the hardest part is just keeping the truck straight. Anybody can keep the truck straight going thirty five miles per hour. That's when you pick up speed and that's when you gotta well, you know, uh, we'll talk Control. about some stuff uh, as you're driving, and if I see something that isn't right, I want to teach you how to how to correct it. That's what we do, okay? Yes, sir. And so, uh, uh, you know, we're gonna we're gonna just focus on the things that you can do, posture-wise, uh, you know, position of your hands on a wheel, uh, you know, uh, seat adjustment, mirror adjustments. Uh, I mean, you can you can have trouble staying in your lane if your seat is too close to the steering wheel. You can also have trouble staying in the lane if the seat is too far from the steering wheel. So all of these things we will we'll have to find your balance, and then uh, you're gonna find that you can stay in your lane better when your when your when your arms and your back is at the proper posture. Okay, sir. So we're going to learn that. Make sure everything's good.
You ready to do it? Yes, sir. I didn't know. I didn't know all that tied into. Of course. I mean, I knew the arms, but just think about it. I didn't know the way your seat is. It can control the way that the steering wheel move. Well, so what is what is the first thing you said? You said I was aware that your arms, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so this would be a good uh, intro to. And we got we we're gonna it's gonna ten minutes so this is good we can end this video with that lesson right there okay so I'm gonna teach you so you guys can get it okay so <clears throat> you said it's your your arms you know that the arms is a part of it correct yes sir all right so if if you if you're you're driving and your hands is at the top of the wheel. Okay. Uh, what happens? See how straight my arms are. Yes, sir. At the top of the wheel. And if you do this long enough, your shoulders will get tired because your shoulders is bearing the weight of your arms. Yes, sir. And as they get tired, you see. Yes, sir. You know, and and then you, you're doing this. You follow? Yes, sir. Okay, all right. So, how do you fix that? I mean, mm. you can't. You can, you can pull the steering wheel. Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. So, if you pull the steering wheel in, you're gonna get a better angle here with your arms, and then and then your your hands are not so much weight on your shoulders. Okay, the position of the steering wheel. Okay. Yes, so let's say you got the steering wheel straight in the right position the steering wheel is perfect and your arms are here and you got the seat all the way back so guess where your arms are all the way back yeah your and arms you are all it. now now your arms are up here again yes, and now you got all the way back on your shoulders again okay because yes, the seat's all the way back so if you scoot the seat all the way forward okay now your shoulders at the back of your shoulders is now supporting your arms yes, and eventually you start getting your arms and legs I mean your arms and shoulders get tired again okay so posture where the way you sit how close the seat is to get your arms like this or how far away your arms are stretched out like this too much this or too much like this and you're either going to have shoulder uh, fatigue or you're going to have this is shoulder fatigue, and this is going to be back fatigue. Okay, yes, and you're going to start doing all of this, and I'm going to I'm going to know already where your posture problems are. Then we're going to adjust the seat, and then that part will go away. Yes, sir. Okay. Same all thing. Right. If you got your hands on the top of the wheel, your hands at the top of the wheel is going to the closer they are, the more imbalanced they are, and you're going to teeter totter. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. On the side, it's more balanced. Okay. And then you got to get the posture right. Seat's got to be right. The steering wheel's got to be right. You're going to take the weight off of your shoulders. It should be relaxed. You shouldn't have to have any weight. Basically, you should be, have your hands. At the end of the day, we're going to fix it so that your hands are resting on the steering wheel. So none of your back or your shoulders or taking the weight of your hands and arms, the steering wheel should be doing that. Yes, sir. And when that's correct, you won't get shoulder back fatigue, which is causing your hands to weigh a ton, and you're doing this, you know? You know, you hold a feather in your hand long enough like this, and your, your hand and your arms gonna weigh a ton. Eventually, yeah. that, that, you're gonna feel like that feather is a truck itself right <laughs> yes sir but the posture right is going to fix all of that so we're going to work on to make sure that the seat is not so high to where the blood circulation to your feet uh, is uh, not correct and then that, you'll know it because you're gonna park at the end of the day and your feet will be swollen yeah because you because you you're, you're starving the blood circulation to your feet so your, your seat may be too high too low you're gonna have 
uh, fatigue in your knees, same thing. So the seat position is a big thing. Okay. okay. Steering wheel position is a big thing. When you start feeling these aches and pains in your in your body, your body is telling you that something isn't right. And a, a seasoned trainer can look at your body and tell how you're fighting it, what we need to do to get your uh, seat position proper and, uh, and, and keep that fatigue out of the way and keep you from, your hands from getting heavy, okay? Yes, sir. You see your hands get heavy and now you're doing this down the road and you can't keep your lane. Yes, sir. You see? Okay. So, you know what I'm I tell people, hey, man, we're gonna, we're gonna make sure that you can hold your lane. Oh, I, I, I can drive straight. Yeah. For a little while. Yeah. And then we're gonna see what happens after 100 miles. And most guys are not used to driving 100 miles straight. Yes, so sir. you drive 100 miles and everything feels like it's a weight now. And now your hands are heavy and you're and you're doing this in the lane you know because you're uh, yeah. and then we fix it that's all yes sir no, nothing's a deal breaker unless you don't do what i tell you that's the only thing that's the only deal breaker with me i give you instruction and you don't follow it that's the only deal breaker with me that and you know don't wash your hands Other than that, we good we yes, don't sir. fix everything else yes sir <laughs> right Ready now. All right, man. Let's get going. And next time y'all see us, we're gonna we're gonna work on some uh, lane maneuvering and turns and all that good stuff. And uh, and some good information for you guys. You down with that? Yes, sir. All right. Till we see you again. Deliver undistracted. Yes, Here's your boop. <laughs>